have you been? After several months. Yeah. I've been good. I just got to help with my girlfriend, but I'm over that now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to meet a lot more girls during our uh, shows that we play. And <laughs> hopefully I'll get a couple numbers. Yeah, other than that, hopefully I get a little bit better at the drums. It's been a while since I, I know. I think you know, I just started playing for I the first fine, month. I think you're fine. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, like, I don't feel like I am, but I mean, I, mean, I don't know. I can improve a little more, and uh, hopefully the blushes will go away already because they're getting pretty annoying. But John thinks that too. <laughs> John definitely John, does think that. That's John, like, John has that blister with a whole bunch of pus in it. So yeah, that's, that, not, oh, that's, that's just nasty. It's not good. This is the kind of things that happens uh, like when you play, you know. Your blisters and stuff yeah. like that. Got us all into like hanging out with each other and started playing music is I guess we just had similar interests at the time. I mean, seventh grade was a time where like you just had seventh and eighth grade was everybody liked the same thing. So it was just like boom, it was a lot easier for bands to start out than like um I mean later it gets harder because people start to change their musical like what what they like and that's always kind of interesting though. I think that's actually helped us more than it has set us back is the fact that we all have kind of eclectic tastes in music. We know every every person in the band's like, you know, little quirks and like what they like to do and like every little like niche that a person has um, because we just spend so much time together and we write music together and, you know, we, we bond that way a lot. Well, everyone band really likes a lot of the same things like, I don't know, things in, in popular culture like t same TV shows, same movies. Same video games or whatever. Same, we all have like the same, kind of the same things we like to do for fun or whatever, and uh, that really helps, you know, helps us bond and hang out or whatever, uh, talk about things, and that also, all that stuff really plays into the music also, because there's a lot of influences from not just other musical, uh, like other music, but other other things in the world as well that really make their way into the music and. That helps, that helps us all bond. Well, I mean, we certainly hang out a lot, and uh, we, we basically just have a good time. You know, we've done things. I remember, like, going to see a Paranormal Activity, and we were all freaked out afterwards. You know, things like that, just stupid things that we do together. The fact that we bond so well together is probably because we, we're all kind of like the same kind of kids and have a lot of common interests, and we have all been friends for a long time, so there's really no strife between anyone. What's different about us? I mean, we all kind of have, like, a little bit different taste and stuff and everything. I mean, I kind of I kind of enjoy uh, you know, the more 90s kind of rock, you know, the more like eclectic kind of uh, like grunge rock music like your Alice in Chains and your Nirvana and stuff like that. But I also enjoy, you know, 70s and 80s music as well, but Dan Dan he's kind of more of the uh, like the 80s kind of uh, era in the band because, you know, he kind of enjoys um, you know, like ACDC and, uh, you know, bands that kind of sound like those those kind of bands. He likes, you know, Muse, the new band that just came out. We all like Muse, but, um, yeah, I mean, we all we all kind of like different styles of music. I mean, George is more like the, he looks kind of like the indie kid that's in the band, you know, and John is just like, he looks like the 60s, you know, the 60s, early 70s kind of stuff. So we all kind of have our own little image that we have. And Tim's more like the kind of like metal-esque looking person in the band who enjoys like, he, he listens to a lot of metal type music. And uh, so we all kind of have like varying different types of music that we like, but it all kind of comes together in the same sense because we all pretty much like the same roots of music uh, that we listen to, like, you know, your Led Zeppelin and stuff like that. And uh, the kind of stuff that like, you know, bands listen to to like come up with their sound. I mean, if you look at all of us, we all definitely have different appearances. We do stuff that like normal friends would do. I mean, we're really just like a a family. I mean, that sounds kind of yeah, it sounds kind of cliche, but like it's it's true. We all have the same taste, pretty much, in a different variety, but in music. Well, we all have different tastes in music, and we all sort of have similar. Like we have the similar taste of music enough for us to get along. We're all in school together, except for our drummer, but we, I knew him, uh, you know, since sixth grade, so um, we all kind of bonded together from school, and, uh, you know, we had classes together, and we, you know, we knew about each other in school, and, you know, we just kind of got together and started jamming. We, we have really, I believe we have a really good musical connection as well. We can all kind of, you know, sense what's going on in between each other, like, through the music. Um, I think we have like a really strong connection that way. So that's another way that the band bonds when we play. It just feels like it's a unit and not really like a whole bunch of guys playing.
say the hardest thing for me is like you know keeping everyone together on the same on the same unit because you know you kind of have to realize that not everyone's like the same person in a band and everyone has like varying opinions of things and how things should be and uh, just keeping everyone together in a solid cohesive unit and just you know really striving for uh, creating something that's bigger than just the, the people that are in the band. The things that the band um, I guess that we have to deal with is different points of view on music and things um, but ultimately I think that really makes the music more original in that the different styles kind of come together. There are certain things like how we what time we're gonna start practicing we all have to have a time that we agree on or else it's not gonna work out. Sometimes some of us will be on vacation and we have to find a way to make it work. The hardest part is really just because we don't have the money and we don't already have the, fa the fan base, we have to establish that fan base. So that's the hardest part, is making sure that we can get everybody that we can to, to listen to us, get everybody's opinion. Getting people to shows and, uh, you know, just getting the word out there. Because a lot of times people have, like, busy schedules and stuff. So it's, like, it's kind of hard sometimes to get peop all, a whole bunch of people to go to shows because some people might have stuff to do that day and, you know. Just pretty much that would probably be the hardest thing, too. If someone doesn't like something about a song or a measure in it, they'll say something. He'll, it's usually Dan, the, the one who does it. He'll say, no, stop, 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 stop. He'll start raising his guitar, do something. And, um, yeah, he'll just start saying, like, wait, can we try this again? We messed up here, and you're going off track. And, and that's how the fights usually start, or, like, little arguments, really, that last about five minutes. And I know after a while, we work over it, and we all just sit back and then... We just start playing again, and then eventually after we get it down, we get it down. And it's always worked out for us, I think, because we've uh, had a lot of people leave the band, but we always just get someone else, and it always turns out fine. The thing about being a local rock band is um, getting people to go to your shows, because a lot of times we play venues that are pretty far away, and you know it's hard to get transportation, it costs money. Um, in, in general, the gas money of getting everyone, even the band members, to the show, that, that's, can, that can be difficult. Speaking for myself, really, breaking a head, losing a certain part on my pedal so it doesn't work, or one of the cymbals starts to crack. The way we overcome things, it's just you kind of just kind of take everything as how it goes. You don't really get too hung over on things or uh, too hung up over things, and um, you know you don't just don't give up. Uh, line of fire, no, no, stand up and then venom and then line of fire and then like a phoenix. He's like, he's like, Line of Fire is like when you guys actually created like something that was like listenable. Listenable. <laughs> yeah, it was like. <laughs> Before that, I just kind of, yeah. Uh, I'm glad I wasn't a band yet. Actually, I kind of like stand up in the uh, You like them? But, um. I like uh, the lyrics. I've never heard of more, so I don't know that. What other songs were there back then that I've never heard of? Oh, The Gods Are Out to Get You. No, I yeah, did that, that song. Uh, lyrics that song. Forget the past. I hate the recording. Forget about the past that John hates. That's that's why we didn't play anymore. Forget about the past. Oh, I can't stand this song. And I think that's one of the greatest stars you can make as a band is if you can get everybody on the same page to the point where it doesn't feel like it's a bunch of people. It feels like it's one thing and a unit coming together to make music and not just a whole bunch of people getting together. That's probably one of the greatest strides that we made as a band. And plus because we've been in a band together so long at this point, you know, th we're going on like, you know, three, three and a half years now, so we've been together all pretty much so long together that we know each other so well that that pretty much helps us connect. So we get along real good and we have a lot of things in common, so that's, that's a really good thing to have and that'll, that'll get that, that'll get a band pretty far, is bonding. The greatest strides that the band has made is pretty much, uh, you know, we've done a pretty good job at, like, trying to network our band and gain, a, and gain a fan base. I mean, it doesn't always work out. Like, not every show we have a whole bunch of people at, but most of our shows are actually pretty good. We have a decent amount of people at our shows. And, um, you know, we're getting, getting to the point where we're starting to, like, record with some pretty, like, important people. Like, the guy who recorded our... EP, his name's Dan Sky, and you know, he recorded some of Bon Jovi and uh, uh, Blues Travelers records. So, and we're also dealing with a lot of venues that a lot of uh, like big bands play that, like the Trocadero Theater, 
we've played at, like bands like the Foo Fighters and like Nirvana have played there before in the past. So that's really awesome that we get to play there. It's a good feeling to have someone come up to you and tell you what they think about your band in a positive way. And it really, it's a self-esteem boost and it gives you confidence and you guys can advance from that and become great. Trying to make the songs, the newer songs, you know, always trying to get it to the next level and it, I think it gets progressively more, progressively better each new song we make or whatever. And, uh, you know, the people.